Welcome to episode 12 of Talking Shirts. I'm Mike from Hull Car Shirts and today I'm going to take a look at the 2015 Away shirt. So the 2015 Away shirt is an all-over white shirt and the colourway was actually to support the 2017 bid for Hull to become the UK City of Culture. Um, obviously in 2014 Hull was given um, status for 2017 um, <clears throat> that they were going to be the UK City of Culture. Uh, Hull KR was the, uh, the only sports team in Hull to actually take that initiative on board and use it to produce some form of either replica training wear <clears throat> or a replica shirt. So um, this shirt um, features the purple colourway, which was one of the colours that was used um, as part of the bid for the, for the 2017 Hull City of Culture. Now, unfortunately, what did happen was um, later on, a few years later, the, the full branding actually changed. So when Hull was the UK City of Culture in 2017, none of the branding used actually featured uh, this sort of rainbow styled colourway. So Rovers had put this shirt together, which I must admit is absolutely beautiful. Um, it did sport, support the, um, the Hull City of Culture bid for 2017, but it didn't really make much sense to anybody looking at it from an outsider looking in from their perspective. So, um, yeah, I think when, when you look at the shirt, I think naturally uh, it's really, really good on the eye. <clears throat> the shorts uh, were purple uh, that the players wore with it. And I think that that just kind of added, you know, the purple and the white really play off well against each other. And I think that was probably what sort of made the kit. I think you could probably quite easily lose these three colours in here and have a purple band um, and then have purple shorts with it. And it would still look absolutely brilliant. Um, swinging it round to the side, so uh, the, the league sponsor was Kingston Press Cider uh, for 2015, so we have their sleeve patch um, on this side here, and then if I swing it round to the other side, <clears throat> it comes with the first utility Super League patch on this side. So what's interesting here is when this is being printed, um, applied sorry, this was obviously applied incorrectly. Um, with a little bit of a, a, a crease in it. So then what's happened is when uh, when the shirt's been put on, it's then ripped probably in contact, which has then forced this sort of like maybe close to an inch gap um, within, the, um, within that sponsor there. Now, for me, that's brilliant because when I get a little bit of time, I'll be able to look online and try and find some photos of this shirt in action. And hopefully this here will highlight to me which, which shirt this is. Uh, so it's a really good telltale sign for me to be able to see uh, where this shirt came from. Now, before I turn this around, um, the player on the back of here, um, it's a shirt in my collection that I've not actually sort of like highlighted to anybody uh, that I've got. So there's a lot of people that have, won't have seen this shirt in my collection before. Um, before I spin it round, uh, I just need to do a little shout out. Okay, so I'm just going to give a shout out to Steve Leeming uh, of Steve Leeming Plant. Um, Steve actually sponsored the, the player who, um, who wore the shirt, his shirt sorry, in 2015. Um, and he was kind enough to reach out to me recently um, and donate this shirt to my collection um, so I could be able to do some videos with it and sort of share it with everybody, basically. So let's spin this round. So is there anybody out there that knows who Steve Leeming sponsored in 2015? Well, if you don't, you do now. Can you see her? Now, I haven't got a Kenny Seo shirt in my collection. So when Steve gave me this shirt, I was absolutely buzzing because um, if you think back to 2015, you know, Kenny, Kenny Seo, I think he scored about 20 drives that season, absolutely on fire. Um, you know, you think about the, the cup run, um, you know, in in this styled shirt, you know, Kenny Seo picking that loose ball up when it was popped out by Wigan at the scrum, um, scoring the winning try, which saw Rovers overcome the Wigan Warriors at the Lee Sports Village. Um, you know, absolutely fantastic. Um, so this shirt, which is obviously the away shirt, we actually wore this at home as well. Um, in, in, in March, I believe it was, against St. Helens. Um, so again, you know, that's a, another potential uh, game that this shirt was worn in. Um, you know, you, you kind of, you, you think of the games uh, that were quite quite iconic for this shirt as well. So I think, you know, you think of the, the, the Wigan game at Lee, um, you, you think of St. Helens as well. Um, that St Helens game was was a was a massive massive win, you know. Well, they, they both were to be fair, two big wins. Um, so 
you know, the shirt's got quite a lot of sort of, of iconicness to it. Um, plus the fact that it's beautiful, so that, that always helps. Um, looking at the shirt here, if I just sort of spread it out a little bit, there's some really big sort of like mud stroke grass stains on here, where even though the shirt has likely been washed, these haven't washed out. So again, this is another really good sign um, of, of, of sort of game wear, which is something that to me is absolutely, um, which is absolutely imperative when it comes to sort of having a match one shirt. You know, I spoke before about having match issued shirts and yeah, it's great to have a shirt with a player's name on the back with the player fit, you know, with the reinforced stitching. But for me, you know, you want to see a little bit of wear, you want to see a bit of mud, the odd little tear or rip or hole. You know, the stitching's coming and done under the arm here as well. Um, it just shows that this 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 shirt has been worn during a, during a game. And I just think that kind of just adds, as, as a collector anyway, from my perspective, it just adds to the, the value of the shirt. Um, and I don't necessarily mean that in a monetary value. I just mean the value that it holds within me and my, my collection. <clears throat> So spin this back around for the front so you can have a little look at it for one last time. So yeah, um, brilliant, brilliant shirt. Um, just like to again place my thanks to Steve, uh, Steve Leeming for, for, for giving me this. Um, really do appreciate it and um, I hope you've you've enjoyed watching the video again guys. Um, if you want to come back in, a, in another couple of weeks time and I'll have episode 13. Uh, thank you very much again for watching today. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.